We're going to do another update to the uh, CL500. Uh, let's see here. I have another video posted of it. Um, just an exterior shot. But I'm going to show you the interior of it now. So I'm going to do that right here. Rolls on all the windows. Anybody that has one of these cars. And most Mercedes do that. So it ain't that special. But uh, what I did with this one is I pulled out all the interior. Uh, it used to be black. Like a charcoal. And uh, I found a wrecked 2002 CL500 and it had the Designo interior. The Designo interior, well, the whole car, the Designo version, consists of a special hand paint job uh, with a more durable paint. Um, but what I was more interested in was the interior because the front of the car was wrecked. So I took the interior out of it. So I took my old charcoal interior out. I put the brown Designo leather interior in it. It's kind of hard with the light. But you see here, it says, I don't know if you can really see it. Let me see. The seats say design on the headrest. It's kind of hard to see with the light. There you go. It say design on the headrest. Um, so it's a better quality gray leather. Um, <clears throat> the wood has more of a cat's eye look to it. I had already had this in there before, uh, a monitor installed on the glove box. Um, the video is in sync with the double den right here, the Pioneer. Uh, so I took different things from the other one. I like the wood better, so I took the center console out. Took the leather out, took the suede headliner out. Not kind of hard to see, but that's real suede right there, baby. That's the Zino leather right there, that's that suede. Uh, headliner okay so that's pretty slick I put a couple nice little German emblems in here too to match if you see right here like the carbon fiber German um, seat belt pads I have those on all the seat belts and I chose the carbon fiber because I got the carbon fiber wrap across the top of the car and the hood of the car if you can really see it. I'm not sure, but the light might be hard to see. Um, yeah, I'm pretty proud of how this turned out. It's pretty slick. It makes it very unique because you don't see a lot of Designo Mercedes out here. Uh, so it just adds to the uniqueness of this vehicle. They go to carbon fiber I was talking about. So that's across the hood. In the trunk, I got a little something, something. I got that, uh, Orion 12 inch HCCA um, subwoofer, weigh about 75 pounds. Super crazy. 2000 watts RMS or 2500 watts RMS, 4500 peak. A recent test of that subwoofer, he didn't blow it until uh, 6500 watts and it was uh, it burnt out. It wasn't a mechanical failure, it was a thermal failure. So that's a serious subwoofer right there. I probably need a bigger amp to push it. That's a ZX 1500.1. Sure, even if it peaks out, it's like barely pushing RMS on this uh, subwoofer. So I do need to upgrade that. But there's a little something, something. It's a nice car. I don't even have it clean right now, but it's just, you know, I'm proud of it. I like it. Uh huh. The nice 22s. Staggered. I did the suspension strut master swap. Took out that, uh, Hydraulic ABC suspension and put the uh, strut masters in there and it rides good. I had to stiffen up the front springs a little bit. It's a little too bouncy for me up in the front. And with the 22s, it rubbed on a big, big dip. So when I stiffened up the front springs, now it's a lot better. So sorry this video was kind of choppy. I decided to do it last minute, so I was just in the mood to record. Yeah, I like how it turned out though. Pretty slick. Y'all take care.